should I stop thinking in meditation? Is the practice of meditation me sitting down and, and willfully willing my thought process to stop, as in like stop thinking, mind stop thinking, mind stop thinking. Is that what I should be doing in meditation? My answer to that is no, because um, the, the mind is a thinking machine. It is going to be generating thoughts all the time. It's going to be generating suggestions to what it thinks uh, is, is a problem. Even if there is no problem, it is going to be constantly generating thoughts ideas, suggestions, so it's just doing its job. That's its job. The mind is a thinking machine, so it's going to do thinking and it's going to give you thoughts. If you're sitting in meditation trying to stop the machine thinking, well, good luck, <laughs> because the thinking machine is going to do its job and it probably is not going to stop, right? So the practice of meditation, is, in my opinion, from my experience, is not sitting there and, and trying to stop meditation, trying to stop thinking rather, but rather to sit there and become aware. You know, there's an analogy I heard from um, a teacher some time ago, and she said, you know, meditation, in, in yoga we call it uh, dharana and dhyana. Dhyana meaning the state of meditation. Dharana means, you know, focus. Dharana also means, or dhyana means, close your eyes and pay attention. I remember that from what she was saying um, in, in one of her teachings, and it really stayed with me. So meditation is not close your eyes and get high. Meditation is not close your eyes and fall asleep. Meditation is not close your eyes and check out. Meditation is close your eyes and wake up. Open your eye of the mind. Start to look within, start to pay attention to what you are seeing, hearing, feeling, experiencing beyond you know, the, the physical senses, the five senses that we get given on a physical level. And it starts then open up um, faculties of awareness that, that is just not possible when we are stuck in thinking, thought and thinking, which is just kind of like, you know, if you're, if you're listening to the audio, I'm just kind of pointing here to, to the, the head, right? The top and the bottom of the head. I mean, most of us are just living in our heads, not connected to our bodies, not connected to our hearts, and certainly then not connected to, you know, the energy of all that is, right? And Meditation is a, a journey of, um, I, I tend to generally teach starting with breath and body awareness and then from there moving into awareness of, you know, sensations, um, emotions, and then expanding outwards um, into the, the frequency, the energy of all of this. Because I believe um, our work in, in really in any spiritual teaching, you know, and I teach, you know, yoga and train yoga teachers, I um, teach meditation, um, I'm a healer as well. And really all of those modalities point to one thing. And, and without, you know, sounding religious, ultimately it's to connect us to the divine. You know, and whatever word works for you, divine source, God, universe, love, life, um, divine matrix, quantum field, you know, whatever word works for you. Right? I'm not trying to tell you what that should be. So ultimately, I found from several decades of meditating, um, ultimately that's what it comes down to. You know, all our suffering as human being comes from the illusion of disconnect. And the illusion of disconnect from what? You know, just like a device, when you plug it into the socket in the wall, um, it plugs into source. You know, it's our suffering comes from our disconnect from our source. You know, and our source, the energy that creates us, right? And, and again, as I said, I'm not trying to be religious. I'm talking about maybe you're listening to this or maybe you're following Yasmin's work because you have a sense, right, from from um, watching the signs that the moon is telling you and teaching you every day or every day of the month. Um, I know, you know, that's what Yasmin's, you know, the specialist in, um, you know, nature, the moon, right, the universe. What is it all telling us? It is telling us, it's directing us back to this one thing, right, from my experience, in my opinion, and also from what I've learned in spiritual texts. It is our disconnect from the divine and it's actually us reconnecting to the divine and the divinity within us. So to me, meditation, if that's too much, that's too grandiose, you're like, oh my goodness, I just, you mean I need to sit down and close my eyes and connect to my divinity? It's like, don't even worry about that. Start with your breath and body connection. Pay attention to your breath, pay attention to your body, and that in and of itself will take you on a journey of reconnecting. Right? That's all you need to do. Our job is to show up. As it says in the Bhagavad Gita, your authority is in the actions, not in the results, not in the fruits of it. So our job is to turn up do that meditation every day, even if it's just five minutes a day. That's awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. 
Remember to leave me a comment below or any questions you may have about the topic covered. And if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when I upload my next video. Also, if you know someone who may benefit from this video, please hit share and share it with them. Lastly, I commend you for your commitment to growth and personal transformation. Here's to your epic awakened life. See you in my next video.